All right, today we are checking out the Chevrolet Silverado LTZ 2500 Z71 at Jim Ellis Chevrolet in Chambly, Georgia. You fit? <laughs> it's, yeah. You wait until the right time because they, they've really redone these. Remote start, mm -hmm. yeah, tailgate release, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And this thing is a camera too. Yeah, if you crank it up and, and it goes across the spot. Right? So many cup holders. Rear view mirror. Oh, oh that is awesome. <laughs> That's amazing. This awesome uh, heads up display here. It looks like it's flashing on the camera, but it doesn't do that with your eyeballs. Yeah. It's like starting up. You feel good in it? What's that? You feel good in it? It's definitely a lot bigger than my four. It uh, it suits your size. Here's the uh, tailgate. You just press the key uh, on the fob. You just press that button. Twice. Twice. Which one is it? That one. Oh, okay. So do it again, and then, or it doesn't raise up the same way. You just kind of tap it. And give it a little. Give it a little nudge. Or you can do it by pressing this button here. And it lowers itself down. How fancy is that? How, how neat is that? It closes the same way. Yeah, that's pretty fancy. So we're going to take it for a test drive. Here we go. Hopefully, we don't mm -hmm. run out of fuel because we got 37 miles in <laughs> By the way, we're here at uh, Jim Ellis. Jim Ellis. The only place to go so in Atlanta. Funny. Yeah. Shout out to West. Best in the business. You can pull a fucking mountain with this thing. It is a beast. Like, it looked smaller than it was in the video. Oh, no. I know. I love these seats. Hang on. There we go. I'm going to give it a little test out here. Oh, they're a zero turbo lag, and I like that. Nice. Because I owned a Titan 2016 Cummins, and it was dangerously bad turbo yeah. lag. Yeah. I remember you almost wrecking twice <laughs> with was, plenty of time. It was yeah. like, get up, car. Heads up display is awesome. You yeah. can see my speed just looking straight ahead. You look like you fit well. We got this nice fancy sunroof up in the sun. Figured it out already. already. Yeah. Okay, so what did you, what made you want to test drive this vehicle? It's sticker cheaper than a GMC. Um, like I said, we needed the diesel to pull what we want to pull. Yep. We like overkill. Yeah, and I mean, I could probably do with a 1500, but I'm, I don't want to take a chance, especially if we're going up into uh, off roady places. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, plus, driving across country in this thing will be a lot more comfortable. Yeah. It's so big. Yeah, it's got the uh, dual climate control for the seats, which is a huge one for us because he's always set to like 60 seat. and I'm on like 80. Oh my or God, higher. It's blowing air up my ass. <laughs> And they also have heated and ventilated seats, so that's a, le a more direct way that we can uh, find our comfortable temperature without inconveniencing the other person. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Instead of the Honestly, going from a full runner, this feels like I'm driving a big rig. <laughs> it's yeah. Huge. Well, I mean, in the the Titan, how would you say the Titan? Compared? The Titan was more like a 1500. Yeah. Uh, how is it compared to the, four, the yeah, F450? 450. Yeah. Very similar. Honestly, really? it feels a lot like that. I mean, the size of this thing is pretty much the same as the 450 without the dually. So that's the biggest reasons we, we wanted to test drive this truck is because it has the capacity, the towing capacity that we need. Uh, it's in the price range that we're looking for. Oh. Um, that plus it has the sunroof, which I really want because that makes it super enjoyable if we're going to be driving all over the country. These seats are awesome. These ventilated seats the, are awesome. The dual climate control and the heated and ventilated seats, that was a huge reason. Um, and. It looks good too. Yeah. It's not like it's you know, super looking, huge, yeah. bulky truck. Um, now the turning radius. How are you liking that? We're about like, to test it out right okay. here. I'm gonna take this left. It's definitely not going to be the Forerunner, but uh, 
Well, I'm just kind of comparing it to the uh, the F450. The 450 is hard to compare to because it has that wider front axle. I mean, this will do it though. I mean, I can drive anything. I'm not worried about that. The beautiful thing about this thing so far is because I was used to the, the Titan and that stupid turbo lag in it. Oh, yeah. This thing does not have it. It gets off the ball fast. That is important. Here goes the Super Duty. We first Ford. Is it 350? Maybe 250. It gets off the ball. Um, it's fast, and uh, I love this heads up display. Yeah, the Titan would like you'd hit the gas, almost floor it, and then it would stall, and then it would jolt and you it for would it. Jump, mm -hmm. and spin the wheels on it. Yep. Now they probably fixed that by now, but that, that was the first year they came out with that model. Oh. But uh, how long is this model? Do you know? Okay, the inside, the engine, and the transmission. The transmission, I think, is new. It's a ten-speed. The engine, the Duramax has been around forever. So the inside and the outside are pretty new on this one. I think the outside's actually a first year. Mm. Like the, uh, the new grill and all the new look. What was the second feature? So this, there was a demo model and then there was this one. It's pre-cut for a uh, Oh yeah, wheel. yeah, it's... yeah. So the two things that this car, this version of this vehicle has, they have two here at uh, uh, Jim, Jim Ellis, Ellis Chevrolet. Chevrolet. <laughs> In Chambly. They, uh, Georgia. This one has the sunroof, which is awesome. We love that. And then it also is pre-cut to have a fifth wheel attached to it in the bed. Which so. is not necessary, but it's a nice option. Yeah, we always like uh, oh, no, there we go. overkill and having more than what we need. Because you never know what you're gonna end up doing. So those are the two things that this one has. The other one is a little bit slightly cheaper by like a couple thousand dollars because it doesn't have those two things and it also has 5,000 miles on it. So. We'll be deciding uh, based on financing. So we're gonna have to do a U-turn here. So we're gonna find out how this thing U-turns. Not bad. That's that's. Yeah. I could have gone it. into the middle lane easily. Yeah, I can do all that. Deal with that. Jim Ellis, Chevrolet, Chambly, Georgia. Back into the parking spot. Okay. Do a little test here. Give the old uh, rearview mirror a test out. Camera. Watch this camera view right here when I put it into reverse. Check that out. Nice. See, there's a 3D imaging oh, of the truck. Oh, hell yeah. See, that, you, well, you might still backed into the garage door. Look, look, look. Even. That's so awesome. Yeah, I fucked that up. Man. Hey, the first time, calm down. But look, I can even park as a front of the camera. Oh, that's cool. This is awesome. I can see myself over. Mm -hmm. That's so neat. How do you see that? Oh, my, oh my God. My seat just vibrated at me to warn me. Really? I that wonder way. why. Because it's, look, oh. sensor. That's awesome. Interesting. He goes, man, man, to alert me. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking stopped. Yeah, I set it down so it'd be still. You can, you can only see half our faces. <laughs> we were just talking about why. <laughs> we're definitely gonna need a mount. Why we chose the uh, this car. And if there's anything else we wanna go test drive that's similar to it. Hold on. <laughs> you didn't like half our faces? <laughs> that looked weird. All right, there we go. <laughs> and so you were saying that the Chevrolet yeah. and the... GMC oh, the AT4 have... is just sick oh, yeah. is more, more expensive. The GMC. Like $80,000. Yeah, close to it. So, plus, uh, I don't know. I like this truck. So, uh, there's a Chevrolet that's, I mean, a uh, GMC that's similar to this. That well, the GMCs, are, they're almost the same thing. Oh. So, uh, uh, people will pay more for the GMC. I don't know why. Just for the name, mm -hmm. but the AT4 has a two inch look. But this is the Z71 package, so this is an off road package. That's what that is. Should I, let me put this up. Have the sunroof open. Uh, yeah, all right, so. well, we're about to go in and talk to him then. All right, Let's see what we can do. Let's go talk him into giving us for free. Trying to make it happen. Helping us out. Reggie's awesome. All right, he's right. Uh, she finds a nice home somewhere. Somebody in the open land. Took us many miles. We're taking her home. So we can pull our RV with her. <laughs>